ESGS devices and components. ESGS is sent for electrostatic discharge sensitive devices, generally known as ESD devices. ESD devices are such kind of sensitive electrical or electronic devices. They can damage with common static charges developed on people, tools, semiconducting materials, or non-conducting materials. Friends, static charges is around us at all the times and develop because of friction. When atmospheric humidity drop below 20%, the static charges develop on person's body. The faster the person walk on ground, the higher static charges develop on people. If relative humidity around 65%, simply by walking on ground, almost 1500 volt static electricity can develop on human's body. And if relative humidity drop up to 20%, the static electricity can develop up to 35,000 volt on human body. When person touches to the ESGS component, electrostatic discharge or spark occurs and ESGS components mostly certainly damage. And electrostatic charges can impart from one body to another by electromagnetic induction or by physical contact. If a charged electronic component suddenly grounded, the electrostatic charges will be grounded, dissipated to ground, but the component suddenly damaged because of develop of excessive heat. So always we need to have extra care and precautions during handling removal installation of ESDS component and devices. That is the reason we need to maintain store ESDS devices in a controlled environment. Friends, static electricity cannot be eliminated. It can be controlled. That's why ESDS component need to handle, need to store, need to maintain removal installation in a static free environment, in a controlled environment. A person has to ensure that static charges develop on their body should be properly dissipated to the ground before enter into the control environment. And one more thing, a signage board, at least a signage board should be placard outside of the control environment so that a general message passed to the people, passed to the employees, technicians, those who are entering into the control environment. We need to ensure that non-conducting material like styrofoam, plastic, wooden, rubber, these kind of non-conducting materials should not lie here and there inside the control environment. What will happen? Static charges will develop on these kind of non-conducting material. They will not be able to dissipate to ground as a being non-conducting part. Static charges will be accumulated on these kind of non-conducting material and because of induction, nearby ESGS component can be damaged. All the technicians should only enter into the control environment when ESGS devices are being handled once they are wearing anti-static wrist strap and they have to ensure that wrist strap are making proper contact to the skin and also they have to ensure that their shoes are properly conductive. For that purpose they need to go to the test stations located outside of the work stations. Test stations are such kind of stations, they will check that wearing shoes are properly conductive so that the whatever charges will develop on body properly it will be dissipated through conductive shoes and anti-static wrist wearing on wrist by the maintenance personnel. Floor mat and tabletop mat in control environment should be properly conductive in nature so whatever static charges will develop easily it will be dissipated to ground. But one thing is very important tabletop mat and Floor mat properly should be connected to one mega ohm register. It will protect to maintenance personnel working inside the control environment during sometimes once ground will be electrically live. This one mega ohm register will protect to maintenance personnel. Wrist strap must be secure around the wrist at all the times working inside the control environment. So whatever charges will be developed easily it will be dissipated to the ground during working on at work stations. One more thing which is required in control environment that is ionizers. Ionizers may be handheld on table or it may be wall mounted but ionizers should be positioned inside the control environment. Ionizers are device which releases uh, air stream in which negative and positive ions will come out 
and once positive and neg negative ions will meet together it will neuter so until unless ions or air stream coming from the ionizers will present inside the control uh, moment there would be less chance to develop steric charges as the atmosphere would be neutral during handling and transportation of esds component we need to have extra care first of all we need to package them in conductive packing so that whatever charges will develop easily it will be dissipated and our esds devices and components will be safe inside the packing materials so friends esds devices and components like cmos eprom bjt ics they are esds component and devices they are very sensitive as we have discussed earlier and we need to have extra care during handling them they are very sensitive towards the static charges during handling we have to ensure that all the static charges develop on our body properly it is dissipated before test to these kind of sensitive esds component and devices so friends let's meet in new video till then you keep watching aviation today and you take very good care of yourself thank you so much for watching this video thank you